The Italians create amazing food. The Germans, they're the beer brewing kings. The Brits, well, they're kind of average at both. But cars? Cars, they know. Case in point, the McLaren 570S, the latest machine in the Born Again brand's armory. A veritable bargain in supercar terms, the McLaren 570S is gorgeous. These lines are not just cosmetic though, it's all about aerodynamics, it's about downforce on the front and the rear, and clearly, it's a little bit about picking up chicks. Now, these dihedral doors not only look cool, they also make getting in and out a little easier. But take a look at this tan upholstery and the general finish in the 570S, it's a big improvement on previous models. McLaren's done a really nice job with the infotainment system here. It's small and compact, but it works well. For a supercar, incidental storage is surprisingly good. Small glove box, centre bin, and my favourite, the little cubby for your mobile phone. This one's equipped with a Bowers & Wilkins high-end audio system. And then you've got the serious stuff down here, controlling all the car's power and handling systems, and naturally, a fully digital instrument panel. If only it had more luggage space, it'd be a world beater. But as it stands, you can get a fair bit of gear in the frunk. Powered by a stonking 3.8-litre twin-turbo V8 hidden beneath lithe, swoopy bodywork, this is McLaren's newest weapon. The mid-mounted V8 belts out 419 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque, enough power to propel the sleek English road rocket from 0 to 100 in just 3.2 seconds. In fact, forget 0 to 100 numbers. This scorches from 0 to 200 in just 9.5 seconds. Top speed, 328 kilometers an hour if you're game. McLaren says this is its first sports car. It feels more like a supercar. Let's cut to the chase. The 570S is a confidence-inspiring vehicle. To start with the chassis, you've got the mid-mounted engine, you've got the carbon fibre tub, it gives the car a beautiful balance. Understeer? Mm-hmm. The second thing is grip. The front end feels so confident, you can just throw it into a corner and you know it's gonna bite and track through that corner beautifully. And don't forget traction either. With 600 newton meters hitting the rear skids, this thing's got a lot of poke, but even when I'm clumsy with the throttle, it rarely feels skittish. And the gearbox, this is very quick shifting. In normal mode, the steering is a little light, but chuck it into sport mode and you get a little bit more weight, and there is so much feel. Guiding this car through corners is ridiculously enjoyable. The engine does a great impression of being a big V8, but there is a little bit of lag off the bottom. Bear in mind though, this is an 8,000 RPM spinner and the journey to the top of the rev range is a very exciting one. <laughs> Ride comfort is more than acceptable thanks to adaptive shock absorbers and though rearward vision is not great, the view out the front is excellent. The 570S is not only one of the most beautiful supercars to emerge in the last few years, it's competitively priced and easy to drive in almost any scenario. Best of all, it makes you feel alive when sitting behind the wheel. And that is the key to a great supercar. So while the Germans have a monopoly on beer and the Italians are the pizza Illuminati, the Brits have gone for the supercar jugular. Six years ago, McLaren didn't even have a road car program. That it's accomplished this much in such a short time is just astonishing. Its European rivals are going to have to work really hard just to keep up. This really is the very best of British.